my way to the mouth. Right between your way, you know better. We start from the beginning, and we're going to start all over again. Gabby and Tikva Locke, a retired couple living in Stamford Hill in North London, are getting ready to go on holiday. Take the hangers out. Do me a favor. Take two hangers. It, it disturbs me, but I can't close the box without the hangers. Just push them down. I've told you so many times the hangers disturb packing the case, and you don't want to listen. Gabby's in charge of packing, yeah? Yes, he's very good at it. I can get lots of things into her case. OK. If she doesn't, it's all going to come out. As Orthodox Jews in the Hasidic community, their lives are governed by a complex set of rules called the 613 Commandments. This means their packing requirements differ a little from most. Well, if I look like a golly walk, you're to be blessed. how many wigs do you take? Oh, one on my head and one here in the box. What's the difference in the wigs that you've got? Have a look at the wig. Well, one is for best wear, which is tried to ruin. And why do you wear that? A married woman must cover your hair. You're not allowed to go with open hair. She can shave all her hair off. Yeah, and not have no hair whatsoever. Thank then she can you. go up like a baldy, like one of these skinheads. Terribly unattractive. And it's a part of the Jewish life. The partner is supposed to be making sure she's attractive to the, to the, to the male. The male is supposed to make sure he's attractive to the female. That is part of your duty in marriage, Jewish life, and Torah laws. What do you do to make yourself attractive to Tikva? Yeah! <laughs> That's a good question. That's a question. She's laughing at that. Now look at this. You Isn't it gonna all in? Oh, look at this. you're marvelous! Wonderful! I'd first met Gabby and Tikva while making a film about young people getting married in the area. Gabby, a former teacher, acted as my guide to the nature of relationships in this highly orthodox neighbourhood. Marriage, that's what God's aim is on this world. Two different people get together and try to build a life. The idea is to make one person of them. The more one you make out of your unity of marriage, the more one you are and the more love there is. That's what real love is about. When Gabby and Tickford told me they were happy for me to join them on their cruise around the Mediterranean, I jumped at the chance to spend more time with this couple from such an unusual community. Looks nice. Oh. Is this all his gear behind you? Is this... Yes, yes, it's all Gabby's gear. Do you want him to That's sort all this stuff out? Oh, it's pointless saying that what? I want what I want. What would you want? I want him to chuck it all out. I don't chuck it out because to me it has value. I know exactly every piece in here. But Gabby, you can't collect everything in the world. No. Well, that's not mine. The gas mask belongs to my son, not me. We can't throw it out. He wants us to keep it, but he doesn't want to take it home. Gas mask? Wait, right, let's get this oh, on. Please. Uh, uh, Gabby, uh, don't you think you collect a bit too much stuff? No, I can't breathe it. He's put gas mask in the kill you. Of course he does. I think you've got one or two little issues to work on. No, we've got more than one or two little issues. We've got a lot of issues. We work on issues every day. That's what life's about. We're working on issues. Aside from visiting relations in Israel, this would be the first holiday the couple will have taken together in over 40 years of marriage. A holiday where I take my wife out and say, I'm giving you myself now, my whole self, for what... Don't forget about me once we get on Yes, yes. but the point what is... What's she saying to you then? Don't forget about me, because once I talk, she thinks once I forget about Once she starts talking to other people, it forgets me. And you, leave, and you neglect her? It's yes. not that I neglect her. It's, if I'm talking with somebody else, I've got to concentrate on these people. Of course I neglect her a bit. Have you got the water on full? The yeah. cold tap fully on. The radio will go on with the time switch. It's not loud. This is not loud. We can see him five every weekend. So he's coming into that game with no confidence whatsoever. Come on, now. I'm still check. One more time. Oh. More checking. Oh, Don't you check all your house when you go away like that? But not that many times. He's so unsure of himself. Is he? Can, we can go in the car to Manchester and he says, now, did I close the windows? I'm going back. Oh, did I close the windows? Yes. Oh, then the windows are not open. Copy, they're not open. I'm just trying to check the windows. Oh, he's all quiet open my windows. This kissing the mezuzah. Yes. That's the security of the house. God looks after the house. Look after us. Look after us. 
Everything is around God, isn't it? Everything. Off we go. Oh, God. I'm tired. What would you like on the cruise? Just relaxing. I want to enjoy the jacuzzi, I think it's nice. Jacuzzi? Yeah. That I thought you thought all those things are crazy. No, but the jacuzzi is very nice. It's warm water and it bubbles. It's really a good feeling, no? Really? Well, we must try that. But the point is we have to try it when, uh, not many, when there's nobody about. But we can be able to get it. I need it like a hole in the head. Well, how do you know? You might like it. Would you never tried it? How do you know? How do you know what you haven't tried but you need like a hole in the head? You can say that was something you've tried. You can say, I need like a hole I'm in the head. I'm scared of things I don't know. That's not, that's not, that doesn't mean to say you don't know it's good. How do you know it's not going to be good? No, I can't really do it. You can't do everything. Right. Is no, you're, you're scared you're of You're right, you're right. You, if right. you don't take no chances, you won't get nowhere. No, I won't get Over the next 13 days, the Golden Iris will cruise the Mediterranean and Adriatic seas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I don't, I don't need you to fall in the water. It will be calling in for day excursions at ports in Crete, Corfu, Venice, Montenegro and Greece. Thank you. Not Come all on. Gabby and Tikva's fellow passengers Thank are you. as religious as them. Thank you. We hope so. But it is an entirely kosher ship that will accommodate a whole spectrum of Jewish people from the orthodox to the secular. Yeah. Watch your step. Why well, watch my step? They're good steps. Oh, my God, Gavin. What did we let ourselves in for? Oh. Five, oh, two, three. Yeah, Seven. we're getting somewhere. Two, three. Ah! Oh, oh my we've God. got a television. Look at this. Oh, my God, that's all right. Oh, what a room. You don't have a telly at home, do you? Yeah. We don't need one. Oh, come Oh, on. please. Let me just see what's on. Uh, let's go over here. Who cares about rugby? Are you going to spend a bit of time up here, Tikwa? In the sun? I might do. Oh, sun is very dangerous for us. Why? We burn. I see that. I don't I, burn. I burn. I'm ginger. I burn. I get red as a tomato. The Golden Iris would be home to 900 holidaymakers for the two week cruise. Gabby and Tikva's fellow travellers are mainly married couples of a similar age looking to enjoy their time together in later life. In the morning when we are awake, he's looking at my side to see if I'm not dead, and I'm so looking at his side if he's not dead. Yeah, in our age, you can never know. <laughs> Some of them more seasoned cruise goers struggling to rekindle the passion of their youth. Whenever a good looking girl walks past, uh, I feel I'd like to be available if it was possible. <laughs> Does that bother you? Not at all. It would have. It would have been 30, 30 years, years ago. ago. Now it's like water off a duck's back. While others had become a little too accustomed to their partner's habits. It's can sleep. I can't Here, if I'm here, it's got to sleep with the captain. <laughs> Five minutes into our voyage, and Tikva's already lost something. What are we looking for? My husband. Where is he? I don't know. He went to his bedroom to get his camera. Gabby, where are you? <laughs> oh, my gosh. He always disappears. Always. That's a very old story. 
Five, oh, 23. Hallo? Nee, het is niet hier. Vlak te door. Oh, what's Where the... were you? There the mask. Have you got the card? Have you got the card? Yes. Where's the card? Give me the card. Oh, we see what's the right down. The card. And where's the camera? The... What camera? Uh, where is the room? Uh, there. Yeah. I couldn't find it. Oh, you're such a good mother. I'm entitled to disappear. We don't always have to stick together every minute. No, you always disappear. <laughs> oh, the, the case cases then. Are the cases there? Yeah. Oh, look at this. Creases. Hang it up over there, everything. First, I've got to get it on the hanger, yes? What do you think of the other people you've seen on board so far? <laughs> I haven't talked much with them. Young Gabby does the talking. Is that shyness? Yes. Would you like Tickler to have more confidence? In herself, yeah. I would have, yes, I would have liked it. Looks a bit of a state. Would I marry another person who's got more confidence? No, I wouldn't. Because you never know what other things Nobody you get Nobody would put up with you. We said she would put, the other person would put up with more... Uh, oh, my, ..my problems than my wife would. I don't think so. God put you together. I've heard about this concept called bachet. What, is, what does bachet that mean? Means, bachet means that this is your partner. Desig God designated, decided from heaven, this person should be yours. It's a very big decision to be for the rest of your life with someone. God Almighty, don't we know it? So Bechet, right? Have I, have I pronounced it right? Bechet? Yeah, yeah. yeah very, okay. very good. Is that something that you are immediately aware of when you meet your partner? When you no, met, when you no, met Tickworth? No, no, you're saying as if Bechet is that you fall in love with a person and you, you decide this is the person I want to be with more in my life. That's not Bechet. Oh, it's That's not falling fall in love? No, it's not falling in love. Bechet is that these two people God put together. Look, when we, when we, when we married 